My name's Chris and I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. And I'm here in this video to tell all of you to quit enabling Bobby Burns. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And my channel is all about trying to help you to improve your mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture in general and try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, those of you who know me, you know my beautiful girlfriend Tristan. And uh, we've been keeping up with Bobby. We've been keeping up with Bobby ever since the Shane Dawson series. And for a while I've seen this kind of spiral and I'm like telling Tristan, I'm like, do not let me make this Bobby Burns video until this weekend. I got other stuff to do. Just don't let me make this Bobby Burns video until this weekend because we saw what was going on, on Instagram, which I will share with you in a second. And just now I was just finishing up a different project for um, some side work and while this video was rendering, I'm just scrolling through the comments on Bobby's new Instagram post. And I'm just like, oh no, oh no, people don't understand what enabling is. So let's talk about this. And again, who knows if Bobby Burns will ever see this video? Who knows if a bunch of Bobby Burns fans will ever see this video? But if you have somebody in your life, whether they are a drug addict or alcoholic or not, this is a good thing to kind of learn about when it comes to enabling, because I don't think a lot of people understand what enabling is. So before I get started, here's a disclaimer that a lot of people are going to disregard and leave angry comments anyways, but figured I'd do it anyways. So first thing is, I'm glad that Bobby is safe. Um, I'm happy for him. I almost died multiple times. And yeah, I'm glad that he's safe. Second thing is, I am not saying that Bobby is a drug addict or alcoholic. I'm going to talk a little bit about self-medicating though, all right? So anyways, for those of you who don't know, Bobby Burns, you know, he got a lot of YouTube stardom from, you know, Shane, uh, his collaboration with Shane Dawson. Bobby Burns made a hate video. Shane Dawson made a series called Confronting My Hater. They came together, came, became good friends. Bobby's channel blew up and he's been kind of on a downward spiral ever since. I've done some videos in the past about um, his mental health and his mental breakdown and all of that. So make sure you check out my channel if you want to check out those. So anyways, <clears throat> Most recently, he posted a picture of him like kind of bruised up and he said that he got into a car accident. Now, one of the things that happened was Shane moved Bobby out to Los Angeles and Shane ended up buying Bobby a Jeep, okay? So Bobby got into a wreck in this Jeep and he was all bruised up. Well, apparently there was a bunch of comments saying like, oh my God, you, you ruined Shane's Jeep. Like Bobby's already been getting a lot of flack for kind of like, ruining the opportunity that Shane Dawson gave him. I don't know if I can necessarily disagree with that, but um, like I, I've mentioned this in other videos, like I'm not a fan of Bobby's music, but I'm glad that he's finding his own creativity. But like from an outside's perspective, and I might do a whole nother video on this, like his mental health is deteriorating. Like um, a week or two weeks ago, he did a video and it was sponsored by BetterHelp and he says that he uses the service. And here's my thoughts on it, okay? With all the BetterHelp, hoopla going on, here's my thoughts on it. Either A, he's not really using better help and working with a therapist, or B, he is, but he's just not listening to his therapist. And that that's like just purely my opinion. I might be totally wrong. Healing your mental health takes a while, but following his journey, it doesn't seem like it. Well, anyways, after Bobby posted that, he got a lot of hate and he just made a new video, which I'll show you right now. Yo, so I just wanted to hop on here and uh, say shout out to all the people who are so angry at me for breaking Shane's Jeep. <laughs> um, I got in a f***ing car wreck. Yo guys are acting childish as f***. Like, seriously. I got in a car wreck. It's the first car wreck I've ever been in my entire life. I was completely sober. Go look at the comments on my last picture. If you guys don't understand what I'm saying, most of the comments are like 500, 600 likes. Wow, you destroyed the last thing you had from Shane. I got in a car wreck. I, I was close to dying today. And all anyone gives a shit about is the fact that a car that another YouTuber bought me was damaged. That's that's pretty fucked. I'm okay. I'm okay. But that's, like, that's fucked. 
So yeah, is it messed up that people are saying that? Yes, okay? Like, is Bobby playing a victim here? Yes, okay? And I'll talk about both sides of this, okay? So, I'll say this. Working in addiction recovery, and I've been clean for six years, my substance of choice was opiates. Uh, if you haven't gotten the memo, there's a massive opiate epidemic in the United States. Uh, I think the last report was over 72,000 people in the United States alone died of overdose, right? Like, I know plenty of people who have overdosed and survived. I am somebody who almost died from my addiction, right? But here's how you talk to somebody who is screwing up like this, right? And says, hey, and this is what I would say, hey, I'm glad you're alive, but you need to straighten up, all right? Like, it's, it's both of those things. Like, I work, I work in a field where life and death is real, right? Like, I have had over 70 people die in the last three years alone. I don't play around with this, okay? So like, when somebody overdoses, I'm not just like, well, I'm glad you're alive, let's just forget about the behaviors. So, one of the things that Bobby mentioned in his, in his video was that he was sober, and I call bull on that. I call so much bull. Like, are you serious? And the fact that people are going to pretend like he was, okay, so, in case you don't follow Bobby Burns on Instagram, the only thing he's been posting about for a while now is getting high. That's all he's posted about. And let's not forget his Instagram story showing us what happened before his accident. Yo, so I just wanted to hop on here and uh, say shout out to all the people who are so angry at me for breaking Shane's Jeep. <laughs> um, I got in a car wreck. Y'all guys are acting childish as f Like, seriously. Now, yes, I would argue if I was on the opposite side of this, I would say, okay, well, those Instagram stories are pretty far apart. He might've sobered up. But this is somebody who is perpetually getting messed up and under the influence, and we're supposed to believe that when he got in a car accident, this was the one time, the one time he was sober. Like, that is being willfully ignorant, okay? This is how you might be enabling somebody in your life, all right? Oh, well, they were sober when they did that. Like, come on, you guys, you're better than that. You're better than that. There are, there are so many people who die from not just addiction, but accidents while being under the influence that a lot of it was because people lived in a, in a state of denial. The people in their lives lived in a state of de denial. And I don't know, I don't know where everybody's been, but look, Mac Miller just passed away, okay? We had people, people like uh, Lil Peep pass away. We had people like, Michael Jackson, Prince, um, we had celebrities commit suicide, you know, like just so many things, so many things. And one of the reasons for this, and one of the reasons I have a mental health channel and try to increase awareness and decrease the stigma is like, everybody just normalizes it. Like when I'm looking at those comments of people defending Bobby, all I see is positive reinforcement. Why is Bobby going to slow down or change his behavior when people are co-signing his BS? You know, like something that breaks my heart, something that breaks my heart is when I see people pass away and everybody is surprised, except for people like me, who see this stuff coming from a mile away, right? Everyone's like, oh my God, how'd that happen? Like, because we keep these blinders on, you know what I mean? Like Bobby has been self-destructing for a while now. And something that, you know, we just found out was that him and his longtime girlfriend, Jordan, just split up, all right? So it seems to me from an outside perspective that Bobby is self-medicating with weed, okay? He is somebody who wasn't messing around with this stuff. He might, I think he mentioned like he used to smoke a little bit. And I wonder, by the way, this could be a whole nother video. I wonder if Jordan feels any guilt about that because it seemed like from what I saw, it seemed like Jordan smoked, she got him into it and Bobby just kind of ran with it, right? But if you go through his Instagram, if you go through his videos, all of them are about rolling bloods and da, da, da. like people have been messing with Bobby, like saying like, all right, dude, we get it, you smoke weed. Like that's all he talks about. That's all he talks about. But 
Like on a more, like on a serious note, like again, like I'm extremely empathetic. Like I've been there, I've been there. I feel like he is self-medicating with the, the marijuana, all right? And like, that, that's not good, that's not good. I've done other videos about is marijuana addictive and all of that. So I know some people might think I'm making like this false equivalent talking about um, people who have passed away. Like listen, I live in Las Vegas. I voted to legalize weed, I do not care about weed. I don't think Bobby's gonna overdose on weed, but, but, although you can't overdose on weed, if he is getting drunk and high and driving, like that can kill him. So the weed won't kill him, but driving under the influence can, and I hope that makes sense. But like, again, again, like, okay, I'm telling you from one, like, I, as, a, as a recovering drug addict, you know how many times I told people I was sober? You know how many times I snuck into the bathroom and snorted pills and, and messed something up at work and told people I was sober? Like, you guys, like, <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but I, some people lie. It's, I know it's hard to believe, but some people lie. And especially when they're abusing substances, like, what I would hope, and this, man, this sucks. Um, like, I'll end with this. You know, I made a video about um, my best friend passing away and she got into a car accident. She got into a near-death car accident maybe about a year, two years before she passed away, all right? And she was driving drunk. And then she died at 24 years from alcoholism, all right? So like, you guys, like we can't just keep minimizing this stuff. Like I'm legitimately making this video because I care. Yes, I give tough love, but all of you out there need to quit enabling this behavior. Sorry, like that's just the way it is. Do not be surprised if he continues to spiral downhill because people are defending his behaviors. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you think people are enabling Bobby. Let me know if you think I'm an idiot. I don't care, but <laughs> thanks for watching. And thank you so much to everybody on Patreon who is helping support the channel. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton, a ton of these tough love videos. All right, and if you would like to help support the channel and support what I'm doing here, make sure you click or tap on that icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.